Phoenix, that fart was crazy. Hello cousins and new family. Welcome back to another video. Today is a hair video. Girl, you know we gotta keep the lights on, no shade. And look here while we doing it, okay? Cheers to that. Today's video is with IC Hair. This is a water wave texture, 24 inches. Perfect for summer. It's light, it's full at the same time. Don't ask me how, just look at me. You know we gotta do it with the youth since day one. <laughs> she's been in the hair video since she's been born. I'm not a professional, I'm not advanced. I'm definitely like, all right, I'm, a, I'm like advanced intermediate. So if that's your speed, come watch me, come watch P. And that's that. What other side do you think you could do, Phoenix? Should I take it back down? Should I take the hair back down, shorty? What you think? Finish, I'm talking to you. You like mommy's hair? You like mommy's hair? It's juicy. <laughs> the curls, that is. That's what we're talking about. Um, once again, you know, I'm a working mom, so if you hear my baby in the background right now, she's feeding, so if you hear her, please excuse her. She gotta get hers too, but let's continue with the video. Today, okay, today, look at these curls. So happy, and these actually passed the vibe check and had a whole campaign I shot in these. So, this is how I prepped for my campaign shoot with this wig. It was, it did what it had to do, loved it. I wore it out and I wore it half up, half down. So we love when that happens. So I use a 4D volume developer and you know, the good old bleach. Can't go wrong with this. I had to double check to see what I'm using. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. So my technique is to use a tiny spatula and to start at the hairline. So I go a little bit before the hairline just in case I miss it because sometimes I will start directly at the hairline and I would miss some of the knots at the front so try to go a little bit before the hairline when you start and do it lightly like scarce the top on your first layer because you want to make sure you actually grasp the knots and if you have some left over of course you can you know go in and spread the love and all that but please <laughs> phoenix yeah sorry about that so yeah spread the love and i did it for about 15 minutes 20 tops 20 you pushing it but 15 minutes will get the job done so you know the speed it's my concoction baby father come talk to me even though there's a whole other apartment he wants to come and play with the daughter right in my face look at he's just dancing he's, he's just love him love him <laughs> but this is what we have to deal with so we are spraying a whole lace and our first round of our lace spray we dry it down with the hair dryer just to make sure that it takes to the lace and it takes to the knots the blonde knots um, of course, make sure you tone the knots with purple shampoo after you have bleached them. Just saying that. But I go ahead and use this dye spray to make sure that it is my skin color. That's why I do this because I want the lace to match my scalp, but my skin more than my scalp. So then I use alcohol and I just wipe my perimeter just to make sure all the sweat from summertime isn't still lingering on me. And I apply this Ebon lace spray like it's glue. So I just put, I spray, then I spray, spray and spray, spray and spray. Cause I don't want it to be too bunched up in one place. I just want it to be even. So that's why I spread it out like this. Okay. Okay, so now is the time to put her on and I align the air tabs to where they have to go and I make sure I place without the hair going underneath the lace. Wow. Uh, so cutting a few slits just helps me make it more manageable when it's time to razor cut and also the air tabs makes it more manageable. I recommend cutting the ear tabs before you cut the lace just so you know where things is going. All right, shorty, you gotta go. Like I said, I recommend the air tabs getting cut before you lay it down just so when you put on your band to secure the lace like you're about to see me do after I push all the hairs back because you don't want them to go underneath the band then it's going to dry weird you're going to see hairs outlining your lace and you're going to wonder why do you look crazy 
And we're not trying to have that. No, we're not. And already I was just really impressed with how this hairline goes. Like, it just looks so good to me. Um, so I just touch up where, you know, what needs to be touched up. I don't know what her father needs from me, but here he is. Here he is, <laughs> like always. Um, but yeah, melt it back, hold it down. Using the sharp end of the rat tail comb just helps me like precisely hold it, um, you know, melt it down because I don't want it, the hairs to be flat melted down because then it's gonna look all gunky together. So we're doing what I like to do best, which is part and spray, part and spray. You don't need to put that much and then we use the rag tail comb to just finesse it outwards, but part, spray, part, spray, part, spray, just to hold it down for extra measures. You don't know what you're doing through the day, it's summertime, why, why get ready when you can stay ready type of vibes. And already I can tell like this was gonna be so pretty if I brushed it out, but I just didn't wanna run before I had to walk, you know? So cutting up the extra tabs and remember I said in a previous video that I learned to use the razor going downwards um, instead of going straight across just because if you use the razor going down you'll get a more jagged lace cut and it'll look more like hairline when it's time to remelt it down as you see like look at that amazing all right y'all please do not skimp on taking your time with this hairline because it is the first thing that people see um so what you're seeing here is me trying to part out how much baby hair space i want um, it's tedious for me because I'm still not perfect at it so I go back and forth with how much hair to have out and how much not and what angle I want it on. I've been like in like the, not triangular, but an angled back situation and once I figure out how I want it, then I place down a band, hold it there for a few and take it off so it's melted in place in the direction where I want it to go. Looks good to me take about you know take out any hairs that went in the wrong direction against the lace see take your time get better i'm getting better i don't know what possessed me to cut the baby hair backwards i thought maybe it would be a cooler look and as far as how it would swoop i don't know why i did that i'm gonna go back to going front to back rather than back to front um because it just left too much hair in the tail end i was just thinking i don't know what i was thinking i really don't know but swooping is getting better it's definitely a process and what i do is i tweeze around the part of my baby hair so it doesn't just melt into the fact that it just came out of nowhere if that makes sense you know so i tweeze around the parting area space so it looks more prominent not that it sticks out, but not that it don't look out of place type of time. So this is just moves so I'm re-putting down to keep my baby hairs down because they are a little bit thicker because of how dense the hair is. It's beautiful. Look at it. Scary Spice wishes. No shade. Love Scary Spice, but I look fab. So I, my baby is walling. Hey y'all, she was just hungry. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed how this hair looked just as is, fro style, like, it was really effortless. And when I peeled that thing off, I was feeling like a million bucks. Look at me. Didn't need to do a thing. Didn't need to do a thing at all. And that's actually how I shot at the beginning of our little campaign shoot that we did. And I look good. So we're just gonna finalize how the middle part looks, make it fluffy, keep it cute. You know how the things go. Take out any excess hair that I had from plucking just to keep it smooth. I just look like Diana Ross's niece. I just, I'm just a loving it. Get and of course, what look is complete without my baby father dancing in the background, girl? Like, what is, what is, oh, I think he was saying I look like I'm 70s. Or I think, no, I think Beyonce was playing. <laughs> Either way, we agreed that I look like a 10. And it was time to go shoot. Phoenix was wearing brown, so was I. 
you know it's inevitable we're pushing back and if we push back too much we want to see what half up half down looks like and it looks amazing so i ended up wanting to film the intro and outro with this look even though i showed you what it looks like amazingly out I just couldn't help myself I'm sorry but this clip is after we have came back from shooting and I just wanted to show you guys um, what it looked like if I wet it again so you'll see that process but it looked amazing after shooting all day so we're gonna just use a spray bottle flip over your hair go each side back side I'm sure you won't have a baby in your hand to deal with so it'll be easier for you and if you do have a baby girl this is how you gotta do it if you got a problem, don't be shy. I thought we were cool, so why get nice? Don't repeat myself, won't say it twice. Leave the camera, I'm not even nice, and I'll go to long I'm nice, just get that nice. Okay, so after you feel satisfied with the juiciness of the wet curls, you're going to grab some mousse. Beware that after you put mousse in your hair, this is what the hair will stay as. These nice tight ringlets. So if you like the afro look, don't put the mousse in. Just keep it as is. It'll revert back after you wet it, okay? So what I tend to do is put my head over and I add more to the top because I like when the top hairline has like the most juiciest ringlets. But you scrunch up. And after you're satisfied, you put it in a pineapple top knot bun. So you put the bun up, double tie it, and then you twist the excess hair around the hair tie like you just saw me do. You wait a few and then you let that thing cascade down. It's my favorite part. Just watch it. Ah, yummy. Thanks for watching, y'all.